Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Scorpio, welcome to your tarot reading for October 10th to the 16th. Let's take a look at what may be on the cards for you. We've got the nine card block here, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So Scorpio, it feels like things are coming into balance and harmony after a feeling of struggle maybe you've been through some kind of loss or grieving process but finally you're coming out the other side there's new energy coming in and we just have this beautiful sense of you actually moving forward and receiving again let's turn to the oracles first now the first one out is pillar of light it says here that your vibration is actually rising and you are the oracle so you might have been in this five of cups at the heart of the reading for a while which you know is after a period of, of loss or struggle we often wear the black cloak of that for some time meaning we wear the energy of it and when we're in that energy we will often experience more hardship you know because it's an energetic attraction that really validates you know validates you know why we're feeling like we are but it seems that you are taking off that cloak Scorpio and your vibration is starting to rise again and because of that new opportunities are starting to come in you're starting to feel more joyful and things are shifting and changing it's your birthright okay you're probably also having stronger intuition because intuition really comes through when we're you know in a very high vibrational state the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Also have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is a card of Capricorn as well. So this is getting me thinking that you are coming out of some kind of struggle, maybe to do with money and resources or with work, okay, with all of this kind of earth and pentacle energy that I'm seeing here. But the Capricorn energy also links to the devil, okay? And that can be moving <clears throat> out of a period where you might have felt powerless against a situation. You might have been in a codependent situation. Even dealing with maybe even an, an addiction or something like that. It just feels like you are getting grounded again and getting back on your feet after a tough time. So the Queen of Pentacles might be something that you're actually dealing with. Could be a Capricorn person, but... It is this energy of, you know, through practical focus, putting a plan in place, 
you know, taking those methodical steps. I mean, we also have the nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles, sorry. It's energy that might not feel the sexiest, but my goodness, it gives us results because it's through taking a very um, consistent methodical approach that we start to receive. We start to receive abundance and sometimes it's necessary to, to take that approach. But I just feel like things are beginning to accumulate for you and you're beginning to, to receive. So that's the message of the Six of Pentacles. The scales are beginning to even up. I just feel that you might have been in a position where somebody else was in control, like whether that's in the workplace, whether that was to do with a controlling partner or somebody that was controlling, you know, money or opportunity around you. You know, it feels like you might have got just what you needed to kind of stay in that situation but not enough to truly thrive but it just feels like this is your time to to receive here so I do feel like there was a loss okay we see the three of cups here and we see the three of cups spilt so I just feel like there was you lost your joy through some kind of situation okay and you know that affected you for so long but now the energy is shifting and changing again the, the Seven of Pentacles can be this energy of re-evaluation and that might be where you, what you're going through at the moment. You may be re-evaluating how you can, you know, get to the end of this tough cycle. You might have made changes. You might have been reaching out for new opportunities to do with work, career or hey, maybe even romance. And I feel that the universe has heard that, that call, Scorpio, and it's bringing you the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is new energy, it's new potential, it is new growth. Now, if this is work career for you, this could be an opportunity that's on purpose, okay? It feels like it gives you energy and is in alignment with your values, your spiritual values, your truth. Um, if this is in romance for you, because the lovers is here, this is something that feels very passionate, feels very chemical, feels like... There is a lot, a lot, a lot of potential here. So I just feel that you might receive a message or a communication here that is the pathway for you to, to recover from this tough cycle. So there could be a lot of messages going back and forth here about trying to firm this up, trying to turn it into earth energy, sign a contract, establish a commitment, putting the plans in place, laying the foundation for your next chapter here. Um, the Eight of Wands can be directional change. It's often sudden change that comes out of nowhere, you know, just like these arrows through the air. And um, I often say with the Eight of Wands, this is my card of doing a, a, a 180 in our lives, not a 360. We're not going full circle and coming back to where we started. This is going in a new direction. So it could be that your life is going to look quite different in the near future. You might be, you know, taking an offer of work that looks really different for you. Um, you might be uh, initiating, you know, a relationship or romance with somebody who's different from your normal type. It feels like the universe has been directing that because maybe where you've been looking in the past hasn't quite been it. So you're being asked to take the approach of the Knight of Pentacles. Now this is Virgo energy and Virgo energy is all about the details. It is all about slow, methodical, efficient, practical planning. Yep, it's about taking things slowly, even though Knight of Wands, we might feel like rushing towards this. Okay, we've got the, the fastest move, well, the second fastest moving Knight, Knight of Swords is probably faster, and the slowest one here. So we might have, we might be dealing with either an employer or a new person for relating that wants to move at a different pace. And the cards are really saying slow and steady wins the race because remember we want to put the foundation in place. So it's going to be up to you to, to, to be mindful of that. Of course the Knight of Pentacles as I mentioned is all about getting that foundation right because if we do that then we can really set up for success here. One thing is for sure is I feel like you're being offered 
some kind of incredible offer and you will be accepting that Scorpio and you will be running with it, but at the right pace. <laughs> so the Knight of Wands is moving on to the new frontier. Again, this indicates an energy that can come into your life quite quickly and unexpectedly and is the energy for the new chapter. We see little three sand dunes here. It's about new manifestations. Three is the number of creation. And if you invest, right? If you invest in this Eight of Pentacles, it feels like this can become some kind of new partnership. Whether you are partnering with a new organization or a new person for romance, it feels like a harmonious partnership. And you're going beyond the Seven of Pentacles where you're not really happy with what you're getting back and you're in re-evaluation to the Eight of Pentacles. I'm happily working towards this again because I feel like I am achieving here and it's going in the right direction for me. So it feels like a new soul contract, whether it's personal or professional. It is going to require investment and work, but it feels like it's full of potential and growth. Queen of Cups. This is Cancer energy for me. And this is really the energy of something quite heartfelt, something quite emotionally available that your intuition has really guided you towards. Six of Cups. I mean, you might have known this person or this you know person in your network from the past. Uh, but ultimately, do you know what this says to me? Karshik records at the bottom that if you do plant the seeds here wisely you will get the growth this can flourish into a beautiful reciprocal um, arrangement uh, that is really bringing you a lot of joy I mean the six of cups is joy in play and Akashic records at the bottom of the deck this is my card of destiny and something really being meant for you and something that you probably signed up to experience before you actually incarnated here um, if you if you believe in that Scorpio so this is meant to be and when something is meant to be we often can't really avoid it and when it comes in it comes in fast and you just know and when you know you know so that's what I sense here it feels like a bit of a silver lining maybe after you have gone through a period of loss here Scorpio so I'm wishing you all the best with it and I really hope this, this goes uh, amazingly for you. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It may or may not resonate for you. But do feel free to drop me a comment, Scorpio. I do read them all and love connecting with you over there. And please do hit subscribe. Become part of the community. Help me get more reach on these readings in a very tough YouTube world at the moment. Um, and that way we can, we can all benefit from it. So... Um, Scorpio, I'm just wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.